I'm Ron Clark. Today, I want to talk about change. <sighs> Humans have this uh, uh, innate desire for things to remain always the same. We try to create structures, social, political you know, structures uh, of sameness. But in fact, change is infinite. Change is everywhere and constant. Um, but there's also continuity. So these are two main forces in the temporal realm, infinite change and continuity. I call them threads of continuity, which weave themselves through everything that exists. So things change, but they sort of stay the same at the same time. Like, take this book, for example. There is just so much change happening every moment inside this book. All the atoms are bouncing off of each other. Electrons and neutrons, etc., are spinning around a nucleus. It's constantly in movement and constantly changing. Just imagine, if you will, the amount of change that occurs in this book in any given moment. But there are also these threads of continuity that keep it looking like a book. It is going to be this book exactly the same until the day, you know, a few hundred years from now when it's just a pile of dust. At that point, it will have gone through a major change. The threads of continuity will be so disrupted that it will no longer be a book. Now, this all has to do with central meaning. This has the essential meaning of a book. But a central meaning is itself in this world constantly changing. Subtle changes, grand changes, it's always changing and it's evolving. In the supernal realm, essential meaning is monolithic. It does not change. But in the temporal realm, the realm of sequence, the realm in which we live, it is always changing. It's always evolving onto a new expression of essential meaning. So imagine all the changes that are going on in this little book. Now, add another book. Whoa! You know, the, the amount of changes is just increased exponentially. They both have, you know, the essential meaning of book. Uh, they have a, a different essential meaning because this book is about something a little different than this book. But it's still essential meaning of book. And they're very slow to change. Very slow to change. Um, exceptionally to change. They're always changing, but they're such microscopic changes that we don't notice the changes. You know, this looks like exactly the same book I picked up just a few seconds ago, but it is subtly, very subtly different. So everything is changing, just constant change. Like my body is going through massive amounts of change and every second I'm digesting my breakfast. I'm thinking thoughts, there's electrons firing, there's hormones flowing throughout my body. So I'm going through constant changes, but I look the same, don't I? <laughs> Over time, I will change more and more. Uh, you know, I'm getting older. <laughs> so eventually, this body is just going to completely disintegrate. So those threads of continuity eventually give way to change. Change is superior to continuity, but they both work together in this realm, this temporal realm, it's all constantly changing. Now look beyond these books, my body, this chair, 
Everything in my room is constantly changing. The amount of change is mind-blowing. It's more than we can keep track of, and it happens at a scale, at a pace, that we cannot even perceive. You know, with an electron microscope, perhaps we can perceive the atoms moving around, but it's not something we ordinarily perceive. But we can, with our minds, look at the changes going on around us and just visualize the amount of change that is happening in every moment. It is truly infinite. Now, the lines of continuity on inanimate objects like this book are very strong. They're going to maintain themselves for years to come, and there will be no noticeable change in these books. But inanimate objects, the lines of continuity are much more fluid, much less rigid, and so we see changes. You know, I see myself aging. I see the wrinkles increasing. You know, uh, the hair growing grayer. So these are uh, inanimate objects. It moves much faster than in inanimate objects. And again, this is all about essential meaning and how change plays with essential meaning and does this little dance of change and evolution to a central meaning. This is uh, the essence of alchemy. We take things, inanimate things, uh, and we, we increase, scientifically, increase the speed of change, and we loosen those strings of continuity that constrict the change, and together, we create the stone, okay? It's very scientific, and very planned. You know, we can predict exactly what those changes are gonna be uh, if we have that knowledge. Um, and we, the result is this other thing. That is the essence of alchemy. It's also the root of the magic of essential meaning is about manipulating the force of change versus the strings of continuity, the threads that keep things the same. Now, how we perceive as human beings is all based on the continuity and not the change. We take a little snapshot, so we, we, we have the impression of, of things being stable, and constant, and always the same, but that again is just a trick of how we perceive. Because between each snapshot, there has been an infinite number of changes, but so many changes that we've missed in that time between the snapshots that we take, um, yeah, the change is infinite. Now, <clears throat> The threads of continuity can be totally disruptive, uh, like an explosion. The, all the bombs that are dropping in Ukraine right now, they're all exploding the threads of continuity so that a building is now rubble. Okay? Um, when we cut down a tree and chop it up for, for lumber, this destroys the threads of continuity taking um, a living thing and turning it into an inanimate object that is no longer a living thing. This is the destruction of the threads of continuity and uh, giving over entirely to change. Yeah, and we can preserve the continuity and uh, fight against the change but it's only temporary, because change will uh, 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 succeed in the end. Everything changes. It's all change. 
So be careful as you go about your life to honor the fact that everything changes. All the things that we perceive are changing while we are perceiving them. So uh, adjust your perceptions to accept change, to honor change, and to learn from change. Because that is how we evolve. Change is there to evolve everything at a, a mental, astral, and physical level. It's all changing. So, that's all I have to say about change. Bye-bye.